Let's take a look at an e-fuse. I'm going to use a TPS25921, okay? And what these things will do is they'll uh, detect an over voltage, an under voltage, or an over current, and they will uh, turn off the, the load here, okay? Through this uh, FET here, okay? Now, in this case, I'm going to use the 12 volts in, and I want my under voltage to be 8 volts. I want the over voltage to be at 17 volts. And I'm going to set a current limit of, of 0.5 amps, okay? So we're going to take a look at the internals of this and see how it actually works. Now, I had made a video about um, high and low voltage alarm. I'll leave a link to this. And it uses a couple comparators to do that. And that's what they're going to do in this, in this thing here. So we'll take a look at, here's another... This is a little bit bigger. It might be easier to, to look at. So they have th these comparators, and these happen to have hysteresis in them. One, two, three, four, five, six of them, seven. So let's start right here. Now, I said I'm going to have 12 volts in. So here we have 12 volts right here to the positive side. Now, what happens with these uh, comparators? If the positive is higher than the negative, then the output's going to go high. If the negative is higher than the positive, then the output goes low. In this case, we have an internal reference of 4 volts on the negative, and we're going to have 12 volts on the uh, uh, positive side. So this is going to go uh, high. If the voltage coming in drops below 4 volts, then this, this is going to go uh, uh, low down here. Okay. But right now, this is going to be high. Now, this one here, this is uh, this pin A here, is an over voltage pin. And we have an internal reference of 1.4 volts on the positive side. And on the negative here, depending on our uh, voltage divider here, we're going to have one volt on the negative. So the positive is higher than the negative. So this pin is going to go high. This, this one here, this pin uh, 3 is our um, uh, over, under voltage. So now on the negative side, we have an internal reference of 1.4 volts. And the positive side, because of our voltage divider, is going to be 2 volts. So... This is going to be higher than the positive is higher than the negative, so this is this is going to go high here. So these three are both all high. Now this one here is uh, 0.6 volts, and that's hap internal reference on the positive side. And then we know we have two volts on the negative, so this one is going to go low. Now we have a retry timer and a thermal shutdown, and it combined with that. But uh, these pin this pin is going to be low over here, and this this is going to be an AND gate here. And, but this one's an inverted gate here. So if these three are high and that one's low, then this AND gate's going to turn on and go to the gate controller and turn on our, our FET here and turn the load on. Okay? So that's how that's going to work. Now, uh, for our uh, ref, uh, current reference here, uh, our limit here, but this, this one here has a, it's a 10 microamps being injected into this thing. And we're going to have a, a resistor from pin 7 to ground to calculate our, our uh, current, okay? So to figure out the resistor, we take the resistance times the I limit, okay? Which is going to be our 0.5 uh, amps there, plus uh, 0 0.018. And then we divide that by 10.73 times uh, 10 to the negative 3, okay? If you do that, you get 48. But this is all in, in thousands, so it's going to be 48K, okay? So if I put a 48K ohm resistor here, uh, it's going to have a current limit of uh, 0.5 amps, okay? And one amp would be about, I think it's a 98 ohm uh, resistor on there, but you could calculate that. Now, over here, this pin 2, this is SS pin, which is a soft start pin, and you can change the uh, soft start by changing this capacitor over here, okay? And what this does is uh, these, you were made for white goods. White goods are, uh, you know, um, refrigerators, washers, dryers, dishwashers, things like that. Uh, you know, big white boxes in your house. And uh, these were to uh, control the electronics, you know, protect the electronics in there. So, and sometimes you want to, uh, for like, if you're gonna hot swap something, put a plug a board in and out. Then, uh, if you ramp this thing up, it it won't hurt your uh, your your boards in there. Okay, so we we can ramp up the voltage slow when you're when you're putting something in there. Now, uh, 
if you leave this pin floating, it's just going to default to uh, 50 volts per millisecond. Okay, that's pretty fast. So we're just going to leave it floating, but you can calculate the uh, the uh, capacitor here in the data sheet. Okay. Now we need to calculate these resistors here for the uh, the voltage divider. Now we're going to have to start somewhere, so we're going to take R3 and we're going to make that 47k. Okay. And that way, uh, you know, we're this is right across the line. We don't want to draw too much current through there. So if you start with 47, these are going to be high, and we won't be drawing too much current there. So for over voltage, it's 17 volts. So what we do is we take our internal reference of 1.4 volts, and that's going to be equal to R3 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3 times our 17 volts. Okay. But we know what R3 is, you know, 47K. So we combine these two together, R1 and R2 together, and we want to find what those are together, okay? So we do the math there, and it comes out to like 523K, something like that. And that's for both of those together. So then we go over to the under voltage, and that one's going to be equal to our internal reference of 1.4, and then R1 plus R3 divided, divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3 times 8 volts, okay? So we know what R3 is, and we know what this R1 plus R2 is. So we can we can put all those numbers in there, and then we can calculate for R2 up here, okay? So here I switch sides. Uh, I'm adding these two together, uh, multiplying fractions here, change it around a little bit, you know, massage that thing around a little bit, cancel the common factor of two, okay? And then uh, I'm gonna, I'll leave a link to my notes here, and then... Uh, you know, multiply both sides, and it comes out that R2 is going to be uh, uh, 52 or, say, 53K, okay? So R2 is going to be 53K. And if we know R2, we know uh, we can figure out what R1 is going to be, and so that's going to be 470K there, okay? So that's how we calculate our, our uh, values there. If you want to change the voltage, you just, you know, if you, if you want to turn it off at 14 volts, you put a 14 in there, and... Uh, if you want the under voltage to be at 10 volts, you, you know, you put a 10 in there. So that's how that's going to work. We're going to give it a try. Let's see what we got here. All right, we've got... Uh, Six volts on there, and turn that up. Oh, going the wrong way. There we go. Oh, it's on at eight volts, and let's see when it'll turn off. Can you see that there? When did it turn off? 15, 16. Yeah, close to 17. These resistors are, you know, like 5% resistors. So, uh, you know, they recommend using uh, um, resistors that are, uh, you know, 1%. I haven't tried this. I'll try it now. And uh, I'm going to put this load in here and see if, see what happens here. Okay, it worked. So, and it automatically comes back on. So, if I increase the load to, uh, you know, over an half an amp, then it's going to shut off. Okay. So, that works good. So, the under voltage works, over voltage, and the, uh, the current works. And it, it, it'll um, it automatically reset if, uh, as soon as the load goes away, you know. So that's that's good. There we go. Shuts it down. If the load comes back, it uh, it'll work. So um, yeah, it works great. So uh, thank you.